All right, the uh, assignment for this lesson um, is a Google Doc where you're going to submit your answers. And from that Google Doc, um, you will need to use the circuit design software, which is multi-SIM. So what it does, it, uh, initially you have your truth table and you have a logic gate. And the, the, I will kind of demonstrate setting up a couple of those, but the best thing to do is, you know, type in and search that number. The uh, document gives you all the part numbers, and then you're going to complete um, the answer document. Um, you'll also have your document. So as you see here, we've got uh, six different gates. And then it also goes into sequential logic, but again, uh, that'll probably be the, the following day. You'll probably have one day to get the logic gates done and then go into the sequential logic. Um, you have a, an item number for the TTL chip that has that logic in it. Um, it is important to note, um, if you can see here, where you have a node where wires are crossing over each other and where wires are connected to each other. Okay, so right here, here the wires are making a connection because you have a little dot there. Right here where my mouse currently hovers, there is no dot. So that means this this wire, this these power wires um, do not connect to this wire here that's coming off of this switch. And same thing here, this, this Q, Q not wire down here, that is a Q not, that wires back to the data in, but it is not wire to Q. It, it's, it's crossing over the other wires. So that is one other thing you have to be aware of. Um, for the first, uh, and then if we look at this, there's a lot of questions. Please answer all questions in red text. And there's quite a few other sequential pieces that we get introduced to also. Um, when you first, when you build this circuit, the all the logic gates you could put on one sheet. So I already have them set up here. I'll uh, briefly demonstrate um, how to do that and a couple settings you probably want to change on your computer. Um, of course, make sure you save these onto your network drive. So I'll to show you how I've, I'm setting these up, I'm going to do a new blank design. Um, when I go into that design, um, if I go into options, sheet properties, um, the default might be size A, size B, size D. I'm not sure what the default is for this activity. We probably need a size B if we're going to put them all on one sheet. So I'm going to change that. Um, another thing I'm going to change on the... Uh, Sheet visibility, I'm also going to have a check mark on the package pin names, and I want to apply that. And that's probably the defaults that we'll have most of the time, although sometimes you can get away with a drawing on a size A sheet of paper. I'll say OK. And if I'm looking at what I need here, Okay, I need uh, two switches. I want to have them be labeled X and Y. I want um, some probes labeled X, Y, and Z. Oh, I guess the first one's the inverter, um, which is just X and a probe with Z and a 74LS04 gate. Okay, so let's go back to multi-SIM. So I'll go to place component. Um, if I go to sources, of course, I want to bring in uh, VCC, which is my 5 volts. So I'll go ahead and bring that in. And then I want a digital ground. And I'll want this in for each one. And then under basic, there's a subcategory called switches. And I want SBDT, which stands for single pull double throw. So we'll bring that in. Um, if I uh, left click on that and then right click and do the properties, I want that to toggle with an X. So I'll find X in there. Oh. You can also type it on your keyboard, which is probably much faster. 
Um, I have my switch going the wrong way, so I can flip that horizontally. And I want to wire that switch to power and to ground. If I right click on the net color for the ground, we want to make the ground wire black. Or if you prefer blue, you can make it blue. Um, what else do I want? Under place components, I'm going to find my TTL chips. This is a 74LS04. And I want a 74LS04N is the chip I want. So we'll, we can, uh, if we were looking at all families, you, once you start typing things in, and I want the 74LS04N, you'll notice there's a D, that is a surface mount. The symbol looks the same. And there's also an IC, which is the integrated circuit. That's the entire chip. I want just the 74LS04N. I'll say OK. Um, that brings in an option for A, B, C, D, E, F. That's because there are six inverter gates on one chip in that package. So I'm going to bring in just one inverter gate. It automatically allows me to bring in multiple ones. I don't want any more. I just want that one. Um, let's uh, go ahead and wire that. And then I want to bring in a probe. So under place component, I will go to indicators. And under indicators, there's probes. There's a bunch of different options. Most of them is just changing the colors. Um, doesn't really matter whether you use the digital or the regular probe. I like to see color. I don't, I don't particularly like a black and white because it's a lot easier to follow color on the screen. So I'm going to bring in and put my probe in. And I need a probe also for the output. Okay. Um, so the output probe um let's relabel that as z1 okay so there's my first um logic gate i press play and of course when um, x is off it goes through the inverter gate and it turns z on so when x is on and I can either click with my mouse or hit X on the keyboard to toggle back and forth. Um, when X is on, Z is off. So this is not rocket science. It's very basic. Um, so I go back to here, and, and that's all I'm doing is filling out my truth table. When X is off, Z is on. And when X is on, Z is off. OK. And then you're supposed to answer and put into your own words, why is this called an inverter gate? Uh, the second gate is uh, has two inputs. It's a 74LS08N. So something I can show you to help save you a little bit of time. Um, we could copy this circuit. Oh, I can't copy until I stop playing. But I could copy this circuit. And then I could zoom out a little bit and come down here. And when I go to paste, it kind of previews where it's going to go. Let's pop it on there. And the difference being now, I need a, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into the properties. Instead of a 74LS04, I need a 74LS08, which is an AND gate. So. We'll put the AND gate in. Let's shift this down a little bit. Um, I only have, at this point, um, one switch. I need a second switch. So let's bring in another switch. Place components. Uh, basic. Switch. Single pull, double throw. And let's right click and flip that. And again, right click 
and change the properties. We're going to label that switch, or not label it, but uh, use a value of a Y. So that way that'll match my, uh, that will match the variables that I'm trying to indicate here. And then let's wire that back to power and to ground. And then I need another probe. So let's place component, go to indicators, probe, we'll say OK. Of course, we want to label this probe as Y2. and wire that to the uh, AND gate and wire the probe. So now this is a, an AND gate. When I press play, if I toggle those both to off, I press play, those are off, and then I want to go through my truth table in order. So as I look back over at this, what's my first option? My first option is X and Y are both off, and Z is off. Go back to multi-sim. And the next one in the truth table is X is off, Y is on, Z is still off. So that means that uh, we're going to put a zero there. Go back to multi-sim. I want X on and Y off. And we notice that Z is still off. And finally, no action unless X and Y are both on. Finally, Z turns on. OK, so that is uh, the introduction to multi-SIM and the logic gates. And so now you, you still have to answer your questions and work through um, all the other different gates that they give you, along with the, uh, the other circuits with Q and Q0 and the 555 timer. Okay, so this should take about two periods to complete.